Coming up in this FinCast, a world's first for coral transplantation. The Coral Restoration Foundation, Elkhorn Coral Nursery in the Florida Keys. It is here that Ken Niedemeyer and associates Kevin Gaines and Stephanie Roach have nurtured small coral fragments into large colonies over several years. And we're real excited. These are my babies. <laughs> And this day, for the first time, they're harvesting those small coral fragments, or frags, to be transplanted onto nearby reefs in the Keys, where previous Elkhorn colonies have died off, the victim of storms and other environmental pressures. The hope is that they will re-establish the Elkhorn colonies that once dominated the Keys reefs. Early tests have been very successful. Well, this is the first time anybody's ever grown uh, second generation Elkhorn fragments in a nursery and put them back out in the water. People have replaced corals on the reef before, but these have been grown in a nursery. These are second generation fragments that have, we've been babying this for about a year and a half now. Joining the CRF this day are Justin Lawyer, Patrick Claussen, and Tim Marks, the founders of Ecotech Marine, which designs and sells Vortec powerheads and Radeon LED lighting systems for aquariums. Ecotech joins Boyd Enterprises, including Jeff Turner and Son Joey, as part of a growing number of companies in the aquarium sector, sponsoring the work of Niedemeyer's Foundation. Well, education in this hobby is critical, and, uh, and corals in general are, are pretty threatened animals. So if we want to sustain our, our industry and sustain our hobby, both as a businessman and as a hobbyist myself, uh, the only way to do it is to support groups like this. Without this sort of support and sponsorship, this, this sort of effort, you know, wouldn't happen. Uh, by the end of the dive, we're going to pick up six from each of those three reefs, put them in a bin, put them in the boat, and then run them up to molasses and plant those. The divers take frags from the larger colonies, which will not be seriously harmed by the activity. They also clean and otherwise tend to the corals in the nursery, itself a bit of a marvel. Saltwater aquarium keepers are used to the concept of fragging. That's where you take a small piece of coral in your aquarium and you grow it into something larger. Well, they're doing the same thing out here on the reef, and right below this boat, you might consider it to be the world's largest frag tank. Pretty pretty decent sized colonies actually I was surprised how big some of the corals were down there. So this little frag was just a little tiny thing about the size of that when we put it on this disc and now it's grown over the disc it's got a couple of hands coming out it's ready to go on the reef. The Elkhorn frags are prepped and ready to be replanted on nearby Molasses Reef just a short run away. So how this is going to work is Ken, Kevin, and myself will go around and probably place the corals where we want them to go. Then you guys are going to go through and actually attach the corals to the reef. And the very first thing that you need to do is clear the reef. The reef. You need to get down to that bare rock. So you're going to have a hammer and chip away at the reef. You don't need to clear away a huge area, but enough space that that disc is going to sit in that cleared spot. Molasses Reef is popular with tourists, snorkelers, and divers because of the rich diversity just below the surface. The crews go to work, communicating with hand signals and planting the coral frags in strategic places. They will leave Molasses Reef better than they found it, with the hope that what they have done in a single day will improve the reef for decades to come.